What is up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and it is a beautiful sunny Saturday morning here in Southern California. So I figured why not take this opportunity to go ahead and bring you guys a head-to-head, -head, no holds barred comparison between two different water cooling products here to see which one is king. Get 10% off anything from Cooler Master at the CM store. See the description for details. Now, as you guys know, I recently put the EKFC water block on my massively overclocked GTX 780. Now, Alpha Cool, who happens to be one of my sponsors through the Aqua Tuning sponsorship, said, hey, why don't you go ahead and take our water block technology that you did a video on a few months back and go ahead and do a comparison video with the EKFC to see if what they claim is accurate. Remember guys, on that video I showed you that they do spot cooling here with a lot of little blocks rather than doing a solid piece of metal in order to cut down costs. Now AlphaCool claims that you don't actually sacrifice any cooling capacity by doing it this way. So that's what we're gonna find out today. We're gonna put these two blocks head to head and find out just which one is king. Now a couple of things I wanna let you know here. First, we are gonna be doing this in my gaming rig right here, which is my 3770K overclocked, as well as my GTX 780, which is BIOS hacked, voltage hacked, and overclocked. And I'm gonna be doing this test in two ways. I'm gonna be doing a stock speed on this GTX 780, and then we are gonna do max overclock at 1.3 volt on the graphics card to pump as much heat as we can into these blocks and see whether or not it brings either of these two blocks to their knees. So just to recap, stock speed comparison, overclock speed comparison, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the temperatures and see just which one is king. Now, while I'm in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that white tubing as well. It's kind of dated, it's getting stained on the inside, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some black tubing in there so that we can just go ahead and make the system look a little bit better. I figure since I have to tear the system apart twice to do this video, I might as well go ahead and do it while I'm in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting our numbers, start tearing this thing apart, and we'll come back and find out exactly which one is king. Now let's be honest, when it comes to water cooling your computer, the looks of the water block are very important to most of us, and I think the EK water block is the clear winner when it comes to aesthetics. Now the black alpha cool water block isn't so bad, but the clear one is just atrocious, and I made that very clear in my review. It does have a pretty decent looking backplate. Unfortunately, it wasn't compatible with my 780. For cooling, we're going with a quad and a triple radiator from Alpha Cool, so I wanna make that clear so you know what kind of radiator space that we have. Now, as mentioned, I did run into a compatibility issue with the backplate and my 780, so for the purpose of this test, it's not being used. However, it's just an aesthetics thing and it doesn't really affect performance whatsoever. Also keep in mind that the backplates are not gonna be included in the price review when we look at the comparison of price at the end of this video. Now when it came to doing testing, I decided to go ahead and just load up Battlefield 4 instead of doing looping synthetic benchmark testing because this is a more real world experience. Now first up we have the Alpha Cool NVXP 780 and idle temperatures on this were pretty good. They idled at 26 degrees Celsius and that is nearly ambient temperature if you take a look at the graph. Now when it comes to load temperatures, it loaded out at 35 degrees Celsius with all stock settings. Remember, we're testing this first with stock settings and then we'll go ahead and bump it all up onto my max overclock to compare. Now these temperatures are pretty damn good considering what the block is made out of. So how did it compare to the EK full copper water block? I mean, the entire water block is metal. So idle temperatures on the EKFC were 24 degrees Celsius. That's two less than the Alpha Cool. And load temperatures here at stock speeds for the 780 capped out at 33 degrees Celsius. So you can see here, we were pretty much a two degrees Celsius delta between both idle and load temps uh, on the stock speed 780. Two degrees Celsius between these two blocks was actually kind of surprising. I mean, I know that Alpha Cool is advertised that they were pretty much comparable when it came to cooling capacity, but I was, I'm a firm believer that a solid piece of metal is better and would be better overall. So two degrees Celsius difference between both of these blocks really did surprise me. Now, how does it do when we pump 1.325 volts at it with my max hacked volt 780? Now, once again, the idle temperatures was 26 degrees Celsius on the Alpha Cool NVXP, and that's pretty much because the clock at idle turns all the overclocks off, so I expected the temperatures to pretty much be the same. But when it came to 1.35 volts at 1385 megahertz, we were capping out at 44 degrees Celsius. 
Now that's pretty amazing for one reason in particular before we even compare that to the EK water block is that is roughly half the temperature of what the air-cooled 780 was doing with the blower style cooler. So already, no matter what you're comparing it to, the low temperatures overclocked compared to the stock air cooling already proves its worth regardless of what you're comparing it to. All right, but enough of the blah, blah, blah. How did it compare to the full copper, full cover EK water block? Well, EK idled at 24 degrees Celsius, and we already explained why it's idling at the same temp it was prior to overclock, but the low temperatures on the EK were 40 degrees Celsius. Now that's a four degrees Celsius delta between the NVXP block and the FC block. Now I think that could be pretty much because of the fact that it just, when all of the metal is touching each other, it gives a wider surface area to distrib distribute that heat over, giving you better overall cooling. And, it, and as the coolant is flowing through the block, it's touching most of that metal, allowing for better heat transfer. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the four degrees Celsius delta. Is that gonna make any difference in the overclock in your block? Absolutely not. Is 44 degrees Celsius really good compared to 40? Both temperatures are great. Four degrees Celsius cooler is awesome, but you're not gonna have any additional length of life. You're not gonna have any additional overclocking capability with only a four degrees difference in the delta. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next aspect of this test, which is just as important as the temperatures, and that is going to be the cost. Because you see, the NVXP water block costs $84 on average here in the United States. Now the EKFC water block, the nickel version that I'm using, it is about $118 average here in the United States. So you're talking a third extra cost over the NVXP. Now, which should you choose and why? Well, personally, I'm still gonna run the EKFC water block. It has nothing to do with the fact that it was sent to me for review. I've been buying EK blocks as long as I've been water cooling my graphics card. But if you're the kind of guy that cares more about aesthetics and the way it looks, the EK water block is gonna probably be the right pick for you, and you'd be the kind of person who'd be willing to spend 40 extra bucks to have something that just looks as damn awesome as the EK does. But if you're more of a function over form kind of guy, and you don't really care how something looks as long as the performance is there, then you're probably gonna be more interested in the Alpha Cool NVXP block because it'll save you 40 bucks that you can put somewhere else in your system. You'll have temperatures that are still far better than any air cooling solution when it comes to your graphics card and you're going to be happy in the end and you know maybe you're being a little bit more friendly with the environment considering no we won't even go there but anyway when it comes to these water blocks what do you think we're talking 84 bucks versus 118 and only four degrees difference at overclock settings and two degrees difference at stock settings so sound off down in the comments which block do you like and why i appreciate you guys watching this video as always follow me on twitter to give me input on the things that is that you guys want to see and as always i will see you guys in my next video